If I were to choose between buses and trains, I like trains more and honestly it doesn't help that my dad works for the Long Island Railroad. Anyway, I'll never forget when I rode my first westbound train to New York Penn Station. After having my ears clogged up in one of the East River tunnels, I was amazed to see different trains from Amtrak, New Jersey Transit, and others. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Many commuter railroads have rolling stocks made to their needed circumstances. Although there's nothing wrong with that, they don't match up to the ideal commuter rail system. Now if you agree with me, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell. Not only would the ideal system utilize modern technology, but they would be simple enough for both passengers and maintenance crews. And that's why I could see an area trying out an autonomous low floor commuter train. Low floor so that trains are more accessible and easier to evacuate from, but autonomous for a few good reasons. If trains are autonomous, they don't need to differentiate between express and local trains. Like waiting for an elevator, you could just push a button so to speak after a pain to tell the system where you would like to go and the next train heading there would stop there to pick you up. If no one is getting on or off, the train would bypass the station reducing delays, almost like a city bus. Besides, trains would reduce speed when they're near a station, especially just in case someone changes their mind at the last minute. Now, just because trains are autonomous does not mean that locomotive engineers would be out of the job. You would still need someone on board to operate just in case. And if a train breaks down since they're man-made, someone needs to operate the switcher. Finally, as far as power is concerned, I could see trains powered by graphene. Now, why graphene? At the top of your screen is a video that is not mine, but it's one that I've been obsessed with for years regarding an invention called the Vibration Energy Harvester. If trains could use this, they would not need fuel, catenaries, or third rails. This would be pretty easy to set up in an existing electrified or non-electrified route. What are your thoughts? Tell them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter where I give my thoughts on public transportation. And follow me on Folk where I upload new pictures whenever I do a bus fanning or rail fanning. You could purchase those pictures for your projects.